Da -da what is good everybody? Today we're making a video I've been meaning to make for a while. Just been saving up the mail to be able to do it. It's basically, it's a little like fan mail opening video. I got some awesome mail from some of you guys in the past couple of months here. Some really cool stuff sent in. And I just wanted to open it up on camera, say a huge mahalo to everybody that sent something in and uh, show you guys what we got. I'll start here with the uh, one of the more recent ones. Shaka fishing, da -doosh. what's up brada? Hope you're having an awesome day in case you dang lang slang. <laughs> Here are some firecracker grubs and glow strips, also with a cherry lure. Hope you catch some fish with this. Have a cherry Christmas and New Year's. You can tell these are a uh, little, little old, been saving them up. Thank you, Kamaha'o. Uh, P.S. Hit me up if you come back to Oahu and fish. I will be sure to do that, comma. You know that. This side. Shaka fishing. Catch the fatties, yeah. So, uh, brought a comma here, sent us this nice pack right here some firecracker grubs some glow strips and this sick little lure I never seen one of these ones yet it's pretty awesome looking Yamashita Let me try to pop them off there that's a cool lure though this thing looks like it's gonna have action oh it's got that super nice backside in there little feather awesome well I'm gonna try my best to catch a dozer with this for you comma this is some nice stuff I really appreciate it Boom, put that one down. Okay, next one coming in. Capono, my name is Russell Chung. I love watching your videos. I used to live on Maui and did a ton of fishing and diving. I now live back on the mainland and just got into tying flies. Here are a couple that I think will do well for Papillo. If they work, I'll bring them on my next trip to Maui in spring. Good luck, Russell. Thanks, Russell. Huh. Well, it's spring officially right now, so I'm gonna have to get out there and test these ASAP for you, Rada. But just by looking at them, they look pretty freaking mean. So what do we got? Five flies here? One, two, three, four, flat. Five. <laughs> they all look pretty sick though, dude. I like the resin eyes you got on there. I actually have to learn how to do that better myself. And start doing that more often. Also got the cool little uh, eyeball beads. Those are sick. Just pick some of these up from Hilo. Something similar. But dude, I like these. These are cool. Tick hooks too. If something lands on one of these, bro. There's no getting away for that fish. It is hooked for days. Oh, this one right here, this one might be my favorite. I like the color, color scheme going on. Yeah, oh, I put a big squid on here too, maybe, just dangle that behind. Action, huge mahalo, Russell. Appreciate the time and effort you had to put into making these and sending them over, it's awesome. Okay, next thing. I actually opened this one already and if you guys watched last, maybe a couple episodes ago, you'd recognize it. This is a uh, my first bait casting rod, which was sent in by Brada Nolan. Hooked it up super fat. Bought this off Bass Pro Shops and had it shipped directly to me. I've been uh, struggling with uh, using my bait caster on just a spinning rod up until this point. So this thing has been a huge help in uh, just like experiencing my bait caster and getting better at using it. So I'm super appreciative, man. This is an awesome gift. For you to have gone out and thought of this and bought it and sent it to me, ton of effort, your time, your money, and major mahalo. I'm putting this thing to good work, you know that. Stalked. Put that on right here. Oosh. Okay, let's get into some of this other stuff here. These were sent in by the main brada over at Samson Lures. If you follow our Instagram page, you see all these dozing fish this guy's catching off these lures. And he was kind enough to have just sent me like the load of them. Look at all these sick lures. So there's actually two more that I have that I'm already implemented into my tackle box. But I mean, take a look at these. They're really cool. I'll open one up. Let's open up this one right here. So Samson Lures, if you watch his Instagram postings, he lands straight ahi off of these like not even kidding off the shoreline whipping plugging he nails ahi with like the big dozing ones all kinds of crazy stuff they come with these sick little skin wraps so you can like put your different skin colors on it's super cool i just want to try the white one out though it doesn't mean look at that awesome lures though i tried out some already the two and they've been going hard they handle solid make too huge mahalo if you haven't seen them yet, check out their Instagram page because uh, it's got some impressive fish he catches with these. All right, the last thing we got here. Another company has hooked it up and sent us the load of soft body baits here. 
all kinds of different soft body baits. These are made by a company out of Japan. They're called Nico. So I just received these ones in the mail just a couple days ago and I haven't even had to get a good look at them yet. So let's just dive into each one. They sent us a pretty wide spread of their product line. So let's go through all these stuff real quick. Got these awesome looking little opai shrimp. I'm pretty sure Papil will just smash these. I've used the clear opai before and they have tons of action. So I can't see why these wouldn't. I love the, how like straight Japanese these are too. They're like legitimate Japanese products. These are freaking cool. Got the Nico worms here. I think if I'm not mistaken, these are the ones that glow. I'm gonna have to look into that myself, but I know freaking put this in front of them in Pachi or in a veil veil and they're gonna crush that for sure. These are sick. They're called the Dappy Firefly Squids. Look how cool these are. Super squishy. They're all scented. Most of these here are actually scented as well. So not only are they looking freaking cool, but they smell like apparently really good to fish and fishes want to nom them. I really want to try these. I think this is the first thing I'm going to try out is these little squids. These are really cool. Oh yeah, here we go. So uh, not only are all these baits looking cool, but one of the things that I really like about them is that they're all biodegradable. They're safe to swallow and they're toxin free. So if a fish does get your bait, swims away with it, bites it in half or something, it's totally biodegradable. So it's not going to affect the fish at all. It's not going to affect the environment. Only thing that I have a little bit of issue with all the grubs is that most of them don't biodegrade. They are kind of like basically plastic and they do get stuck in the water. So I always try to take mine out as much as I can or if I see some laying around, I always pick them up. Just a good practice. But with something like this that's biodegradable, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of degrade. Got these. Oh, okay. These are their uh, Nico squid strips. Frick, these are cool. So they're basically like strips of squid. You just throw them on a line and whip them out. These are gonna be awesome for whipping, I can already tell. So they smell like all these, they got good scent and they look really cool. They have a whole bunch of different colors in all these. Oh, how are these little frog guys? These are cool. They're all really soft too and like super pliable. I'm super excited to try these out. We're gonna try them out this weekend, I think. Here's the, uh, what they're calling their flex worm or pinch worm. They're heavily scented baits. For this one, it's probably good for like dragging on the bottom. I'll just take a chunk, throw on a hook and just cast it out there, drag it on the bottom with like a little whipping rig and I have a good feeling about these too. Well, here's some more of these tadpoles like these guys. Pretty similar, a little different. These ones are the glow ones if I'm not sure. Clear yellow, not even lying, they look tasty. Like little candies. <laughs> Hopefully the fish think so too. Here's one more that I think is action. Look at these little squids. They're like little tiny little squid things. You just I can, man, I don't know how these aren't going to hook up because look at these little squiddies. Little tentacles on the bottom. They're like the reduced down version of the super squid here. Like the little octopus version of it. Pretty sick. Here's the last one. It's these little Nico softball baits. I'm assuming they're just heavily scented. Looking like eggs, kind of mimicking eggs. So I'll use these likely the same way that I'll try out these ones and just drag them on the bottom. Maybe put these on a floater or something. See how these go. But I am excited to try these, that's for sure. Okay, well that sums up the mail time. Huge mahalo to each and every one of you brought us out there. It took the time, effort, your own money. Send me a little bit of love. Made some flies for me. Sent me some awesome baits. Sent me a pole. Huge mahalo to the companies here who sent some cool stuff for me to try out. The Samson Lures, the Nico Baits. I really appreciate that. I'm like super excited to try all this stuff out. In fact, these Nico baits I'm probably gonna try with the bait casting rod. I think that's gonna be a good idea. Maybe like I'll do like a dunking rig with that. Anyway, in the case that you are feeling extremely generous like these folks here, you wanna send something, our description has the address to uh, our PO box where we get all our mail right on the uh, address opening. So shock of fishing comma opening and I will know to open it on the show. In a future episode, if anybody feels like sending more stuff and we end up with more letters, I'll uh, open them up in another episode one day. Again, in that case, just check out the description. I'll throw some instructions and uh, the address down there. To all you folk, one more time, I just wanna say huge mahalo. Every time I get a letter like this, it, really blows my mind, especially the fans out there that send me things. Every time something like this comes through, I'm just blown away by the love you guys are sending. So huge mahalo, super stoked. Again, major mahalo to everybody. Uh, thanks for watching as well. Huge mahalo to you. Until the next one, shoots to douche.